Tonight, a handful of state lawmakers who fled Texas are back after spending more than a week in Washington, D.C., protesting a proposed new voting law here in Texas. And tonight, Fox 26's Matthew Seedorf is hearing from both Republicans and Democrats. Matthew is live tonight. Well, Jonathan, Caitlin, lawmakers I spoke with today were surprised. They didn't realize some of their colleagues were flying back from D.C. At least two Texas Democratic lawmakers now landing back in Texas. That was the first I, I knew that he had, had left uh, our group in Washington. Representative Philip Cortez in Austin Wednesday telling Fox 26 a small working group of Democrats decided to begin active discussions here in Austin on improving HB3 and asked that I return to establish open communication lines. Hey, I've uh, encouraged him to return uh, to the nation's capital. I was very surprised the person kind of left in the cover of night, if you will. Representative Sean Theory, one of more than 50 Texas House Democrats still in Washington, D.C., protesting proposed changes to voting laws in the state. We're very united. Um, we meet constantly throughout the day. The morale is still strong, and we're working around the clock. We're going to stay the course. There have been a slow trickle of Democrats coming back. Texas Democrats in D.C. protesting SB1 and HB3, laws that would end drive through voting, 24-hour polls, and require people to request mail-in ballots in order to receive them. I'm committed to calling special session after special session after special session every 30 days uh, until we do get these items passed. Texas lawmakers still in a broken quorum, with now two less Democrats protesting in D.C. We now have 93, so there's seven more members to go for the Texas House of Representatives to have a constitutional quorum so that we can get back to work for the people. We're well above our number that we need to continue our work here, and so we feel good about that. Although two Democrats are back tonight, there still aren't enough to continue the special session. Reporting live in Houston, Matthew Seedorf, Fox 26 News.